you decide or you come to realize rather the client yeah is now pushing a lot of the work. You, you are, are filtering great ideas. That's right. That's right. But you're not on the idea side of it. That's right. You make the decision, hey, this is good money on this side, but I want to go to the side that really sets my soul on fire. I can really come up with these creative ideas. That's right. Where do you land at that point? Yep. So at that point in time, um, Global Hue, which was the number one multicultural agency in the nation, founded by Don Coleman, legendary, iconic. Um, I owe him so much. Um, Don Coleman was running it at the time. Robin Sybil Chavis and Alan Pugh, um, all kind of mentors and people I look up to. So they had built this really amazing company um, that was doing multicultural marketing. It's kind of my first entry into that space for all the big brands, Verizon, Chrysler, Walmart, et cetera. And so I go to Global Hue, and my first job there is running the U.S. Navy brand for Global Hue. I want to ask a question. How do you get on their radar? Don Coleman, legendary guy in marketing. Uh, yeah. You know, people just don't appear on his radar. How does this happen? Sure. Um, connection. So Rob Chavis, who was a vice chairman at Global Hue, was also a fraternity brother of mine. Now, Rob and I didn't go to Which at the same time. Cap Alpha Psi. I should have guessed. Okay. <laughs> I'll forgive you on that one. Okay. I was, you know, you wait to see, like, do we have a connection? Okay. <laughs> my, my brother, my blood brother is, is, is that as well. So nothing but love on from this side. There you go. <laughs> uh, so Rob is older than me at Duke, but he's now a key player at Global Hue. He hears and learns that I'm interested in leaving the client side and going to the advertising side. And so he's the one that kind of says, hey, Detavia, would you be interested in coming here? I'll be honest, you know, I don't think I, I've never gotten a job by applying into a black box, right? Every job I've ever gotten has been because someone on that side I was able to connect with. Um, and that's what ends up opening the door. Even as we move on with your story, because you have yeah. ended up at, at much larger brands. I, I love to ask these questions, like how do you yeah. get on these people's radar? Because so many people are out there and they're hustling and they're doing all that they know how to do. That's right. It just seems that they can't get on the right people's radar. Yeah. So, you know, in your case, you said, okay, I got in the door through connections. That's right. Always, you, every single did one. Did I hear you say the Navy account? Yep. That's right. So I was running a U.S. Navy account focused on recruiting Asian Americans and Black Americans, um, specifically college students into the Navy. And it was wild because I first showed up and was like, I don't want to do this job. I'm not trying to send young Black and Brown and yellow people to war. But what, as I uncovered it, the Navy had some of the craziest programs I'd ever seen. They were literally paying young Black men to go to school $2,500 a month to $5,000 a month to do nothing no drilling no training no nothing you just collect the check send it to moms drive your car pay for your place that's it and then of course you had to do i guess it was a four-year commitment afterwards but they were in real jobs they were as engineers as doctors as lawyers um, as businessmen, they were as leaders. Um, so uncovering something that i thought was really good for the community made me feel really good about doing the job in fact uh, one of my claim to fame there is within the first year on that business, we almost tripled the account um, because we, I believed in it so much and we were able to come up with a strategy um, around these kind of programs that the Navy really brought into for a very long time. How long did it take you to rise up the ranks within Global Hue? Yeah. So this is the question I get asked the most because this is a, where you see my career kind of ratchet up the fastest. So it took one year. And so essentially what happened well, is I was running the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> let me let me go back because I, I I I want to bring all of these points to light for our audience. <laughs> you go to Global Hue. You are would you say twenty eight at the time? Yeah, twenty. This is two thousand seven. Twenty six. You're twenty six at the time. You go in. You take over the Navy account. You triple it in a year. Correct. Talk to me <laughs> from that point. Yeah. This is where your story gets so damn fly. But go yeah. ahead. 
Thank you, brother. Yeah, so there's a strategy that I call jumping ladders that I've used my entire career. And so most people think that the right way to climb the career chain is to go up the ladder, right? Um, and it doesn't usually work that long and it doesn't work that well. And if it does, it often takes you longer. So the example I give to people to kind of dispose of that thinking is the president of the United States. If that's the way that it works, you would think people would start out as mayors and governors and then they go into Senate and Congress and then become presidents, right? But in the 50 plus presidents we've had, only three of them have gone that route. Everybody else jumped from some other space into that seat. Case in point, Donald Trump, who was a businessman and jumps into the most powerful seat in the US or in the world. Um, and so that's the strategy that I've used. So um, what j and J gave me was a couple of things. Um, real strong marketing strategy from the client side, um, as well as just being in the room when we were talking about the ideas and filtering the ideas out. So when I go to Global Hue, now I know how to build strategies in the ways that clients receive them. I also know the way that they talk about them. So while I knew zero about advertising, right, I was learning that from a lot of people who were smarter than me, some younger than me, some who have been in it much longer than I had. Um, but I was bringing this marketing strategy, this marketing thinking, and the way we talk about our ideas to the client on the other side of the table. And I believe that that gift and that experience is what enables me to triple the Navy business. Literally, we probably did it in like three to four months. Um, and then it's, so I started October 2007. The business has probably tripled. You know, we signed a contract by January 1st of 2008. And then it's a bunch of God and luck. So that summer, summer of 2008, the woman who was kind of the most senior leader on the account who was running the Walmart business decided to quit. And when she quit, and she kind of quit like out of nowhere. And when she quit, Global Hue took the three strongest folks at, at my level, supervisors, and promoted them to directors. And then they took me and promoted me twice. And so I became the group account director. And so I went from running a Navy business to running a Navy business, the Walmart business, the MGM business, and a few others within my first year, which is all God and, you know, the fortune that I had to deliver early on in that first year. How many hours are you working at this point? Oh, crazy. <laughs> uh, and especially once I got on that Walmart account, look, I love Walmart, have been on that business since 2008. Um, but I'm telling you, I mean, we're probably working 60 to 100 hours a week uh, trying to get that job done. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah. You're at... Global Hue for how long? Uh, I left Global Hue in 2014, April of 2014. So seven years. Seven years. You leave, what's your title? Um, I was president of Global Hue. Um, so Don Coleman, again, I owe him so much. After double promoting me that one year, I basically got promoted every year until I left almost. Wow. Wow. Yeah. But it's a, it's, it's a testament to the point that you deliver like, you know, absolutely coach you. They can, you know, you can find someone that mentors you and finds favor in you. But they, at the end of the day, you have to deliver. You that's have exactly to right. goods to the table every day. So that's, that's a, exactly an right. Incredible testament to yourself. You yeah, I appreciate it. I, I think yeah. I was fortunate. I was fortunate and blessed enough to deliver. And then I had good leadership at the top who saw that and rewarded it. Right. Um, I'll tell you one time I walked into a meeting, Don handed me a letter. Um, and when I tell you that he basically like doubled my salary, didn't ask for it, didn't request it. But to your point, Don took care of the people who were taking care of his business. Right. And so, yes, I'm grateful that I was able to perform and even more grateful that I had leaders that saw it and responded. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.